Today, we turn our attention to a remarkable piece of literature, Matilda, penned by the prolific Roald Dahl. Published in 1988, this masterpiece offers readers a glimpse into the life of a gifted child named Matilda Wormwood. Through her tale, Dahl touches on themes of family dynamics, the importance of education, the nuances of growing up, and the empowerment derived from self-belief. Let's embark on an in-depth exploration of this narrative. Set in a quaint English village, Matilda introduces us to its titular character, Matilda Wormwood, who stands out as a beacon of intelligence and curiosity. From a very young age, her penchant for books is evident. Unlike many children her age, Matilda isn't captivated by toys or games. Instead, she finds solace in the pages of books, traversing through literary landscapes that range from children's tales to sophisticated adult literature. By the tender age of four, she has already navigated through classics like Great Expectations, a testament to her extraordinary intellectual prowess. However, this appreciation for knowledge is starkly juxtaposed with the world she inhabits at home. The Wormwoods, comprising her father Mr. Wormwood, a dubious car salesman with questionable ethics, and her mother Mrs. Wormwood, a woman preoccupied with her appearance in daytime television, are neglectful, to say the least. To them, Matilda's love for reading is not only baffling but also a subject of ridicule. Their vision of a normal life does not accommodate a child prodigy, leading to numerous clashes and misunderstandings. Upon starting school, another character comes into play, shaping Matilda's life in significant ways. This is Miss Honey, her class teacher. Miss Honey is the antithesis of the Wormwoods. Gentle, compassionate, and genuinely invested in her students' well-being, she instantly recognizes Matilda's unique capabilities. She not only appreciates her talents, but also becomes an advocate for her, aiming to provide Matilda with the enrichment she needs. However, school life is not without its challenges. The formidable headmistress, Miss Trunchbull, casts a long, oppressive shadow over the school. A colossal figure with an intense aversion to children, she employs fear and intimidation as her primary teaching tools. Matilda's interactions with her provide some of the most memorable moments in the book. From forcing Bruce Bogtrotter, a fellow student to eat an entire colossal chocolate cake as punishment to spinning young Amanda Thripp by her pigtails, Miss Trunchbull's tyrannical antics are legendary. But as Matilda's story unfolds, a pivotal discovery changes the course of events. Amidst her growing frustrations with her family's apathy and Miss Trunchbull's cruelty, Matilda realizes she possesses an uncanny power. With sheer focus, she can move objects without touching them, a phenomenon known as telekinesis. This ability becomes her secret weapon, her means of exacting revenge on those who wrong her. Initially, she uses this power in a series of humorous escapades against her parents, from supergluing her father's hat to his head to making a parrot appear like a ghost to scare her mother. These acts, while playful, underscore her deep-seated need to assert control over her environment. But the pinnacle of her telekinetic adventures is her face-off with Miss Trunchbull. Through ingenious pranks and sheer determination, Matilda uses her powers to counteract the headmistress's reign of terror. These acts not only challenge Miss Trunchbull, but also embolden the other students and teachers, culminating in the headmistress's eventual departure from the school. As the narrative reaches its climax, the Wormwoods, facing legal troubles due to Mr. Wormwood's underhanded dealings, decide to flee the country. The initial plan includes taking Matilda with them. However, by now, the bond between Matilda and Miss Honey has grown so profound that it's impossible to ignore. In a moment of perhaps unintended clarity, the Wormwoods allow Matilda to stay back, ensuring she finally finds a home filled with love, understanding, and countless books with Miss Honey. Roald Dahl's Matilda is multifaceted. On the surface, it's a delightful tale of a child's triumph over adversities. However, a deeper exploration reveals layers of commentary on societal norms, the education system, and child-parent dynamics. The Wormwoods epitomize society's often misguided values, materialism, superficiality, and ignorance. They are blinded by their own narrow worldview, failing to recognize and nurture their daughter's talents. In contrast, Miss Honey represents the ideal guardian, someone who sees and uplifts the potential in every child. Their contrasting approaches underscore the significant role caregivers play in a child's development. Miss Trunchbull, meanwhile, personifies the systemic flaws in the educational realm. Her authoritarian methods highlight the pitfalls of an education system driven by fear. 
Conversely, Matilda's love for self-learning serves as a beacon for alternative, more organic learning paths. The telekinesis, while fantastical, is symbolic. It represents the boundless potential trapped within each child, waiting for the right environment to manifest. Matilda's story is, at its core, a journey of self-discovery and empowerment. In conclusion, Matilda stands as a testament to Roald Dahl's genius, blending humor, heart, and thought-provoking insights seamlessly. It reminds readers, young and old, of the transformative power of self-belief, the importance of supportive mentors, and the magic latent within each of us. If you found value in this exploration, we humbly request you to subscribe to our channel. Here, we passionately dissect literary jewels, striving to enrich your understanding and appreciation of literature. Your support propels us forward, and we are grateful for every click, like, and share. Join us again as we dive into another literary universe soon.